Hey guys, and welcome to the next game. Uh, it's gonna show up any second now. There. Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX 2. I actually got uh, quite a few requests to play this one. And I say quite a few, meaning more than zero, which is pretty much the requests I got for... Oh, basically, I've gotten people who have wanted me to play this game. And I didn't originally, like, you know, because I'd never played it before. You know, I played the shit out of Dave Mira 2 as a kid. Never played Matt Hoffman 2. Always thought that was, like, a ripoff. Hmm. It's kind of the other way around, isn't it? Um, it is. Yeah. Matt, Matt Hoffman 2 is apparently the better game, and I'm going to have to agree with that. Uh, yeah, this is the one I played as a kid. Yeah. This is the one I somewhat remember. Uh, with me, first episode, Alan6541, Felix Knight, gonna try to be at least a little serious. Tinker is not going to show up until the second episode, or at least. Yes. So, did they make one of these games for the Game Boy Advance? Because I do think I played a Matt Hoffman BMX game. Yeah, uh, there's the original Matt Hoffman for the PS1, and then Matt Hoffman 2 for PS2 and Game Boy Advance. Okay, because I, I think what well, original. Matt Hoffman sounds really familiar. Um, or for one of the, uh, Game Boys. Yeah. But, uh, this is the character I'm gonna go with, because he's got high balance, and this game, bal you know, balance is one of those things that you pretty much need, unlike, you know, the games I've been doing, where you have perfect balance for five seconds and then immediately lose it, no matter what your balance stat is. Uh, this is one of those games where, you know, having a 90% balance is much better than a 30 or a 20. Um, is, tur is turning possible in this one? Turning? Mm, I'd say maybe. You still kind of can't even make a make a turn inside of a football stadium. Oh, okay, but so you need quite a big radius. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look at Ruben did. Oh. Ruben. Good job. Ruined it, Ruben. Jeez. So, uh, Matt Hoffman 2's, I guess, career mode kind of takes the form of a road trip where you and your BMX bros go to all the levels, and in between the levels there are different little videos. I don't know if each character has all different videos, because that would be eight different videos for each character. Um, you know, that's... A that's a lot if it's um, a lot of bro love. That's a lot if it's that, and I probably wouldn't be able to show off like every single character's every single video. But uh, I'll keep the ones in for this guy. So yeah, I'll throw off start. Yeah. Um. So you start off in kind of, admittedly, a generic warehouse full of ramps level. You know, like Tony Hawk. Um. But. You know, you see Matt Hoffman too. You got objectives, got to find stuff, got to do a certain amount of tricks. Fairly standard for the uh, time it was released. It was 2002, I believe. If it's 01 or 03, then my bad. Um, you got, uh, you got, you got air tricks. You got grinds. You got manuals. You got stuff you can do on the lips of ramps, and then you can kind of tweak each and every one. Again, kind of standard. Um. Wow. Well, it looked like you landed it and then you fell. Yeah, I don't know. Bit of a like a like I said, bit of a rough start. Okay. okay. It seems like landing in all these games though, it's sometimes just difficult. Land at just the right angle, you you make it slightly off and you don't. So I, I've noticed a difference between this one and the Game Boy one. I believe uh, <laughs> this one is. 3D, <laughs> which is uh, 
big difference mm -hmm. compared, uh -huh. compared uh -huh. to the uh, 2D platformer style gameplay. Yeah. So uh, yeah, this is different for me. But uh, you know, when they release, when they re-release Matt Hoffman 2 HD, uh, and, uh, re remastering, recollect, re whatever on, on the, the PlayStation on, 5, on the PlayStation Vita yeah. or whatever. <laughs> They're probably not. I mean, I guess that'd be cool, but they're probably not going to. So, you know, first run. Do some tricks. Get some things. You know, get gassed up. Okay, so you had to get gas and... Over by a forklift. You, had to, you had to get gas and you had to find the bus key. So... Mm, I don't know. It seems like this road trip had pretty poor planning from the start. He lost, he lost the keys almost immediately. Maybe they either that or they had still had to steal the bus. Yeah, and you know, keys on top of a light fixture. Mm. I leave my keys up there all the time. Yeah, I'm gonna have but to. I'm gonna uh, get. I'm. I'm tall. I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, he could reach up there. He could. All right. So really, kind of the main selling point on this game over like Dave Mira Two is that okay? Well, a there are levels that don't infuriate me beyond belief in this game, which is good. And then B, uh, it's got like a flatland system, you know, where you can manual and then go into a bunch of different tricks. And, you know, that was sort of the big difference between this and Dave Mir 2. And flatland is something I kind of talked about in one of those videos, but as you can see, it's where people somehow keep their balance while just, just working their bike. Yeah, those people are impressive. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's like flatland competitions, and I mean, people can do this stuff in real life. I mean, they probably can't do the, you know, chain together a whole bunch of stuff, but I mean... Oh, have you ever seen the videos of them? Yeah, I've, yeah, I've yeah, seen videos. I've seen some YouTube videos of this kind of stuff, and it's pretty impressive. But they, it, they can really chain quite a few things together. But yeah, I mean... Smooth. I mean... Uh, that does happen quite often, too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, everyone has their falls, everyone has their good parts, everyone has their bad parts, but... Yeah, seriously, I've got to give credit to people who can, like, hold their balance and do that. I can't even stand on a skateboard without falling over. I, you know, I couldn't even ride my bike without training wheels for, like, a whole one or two years after everyone else. You know, there's pictures of me and my biking bros, and I'm the only one with training wheels on still. But I got, <laughs> I got them off eventually. It's not, it's not like I only got them off last you're, year. You're improving good. Yeah, I'm impr yeah. It I'm only took, it only took, like... 17 years. Yeah, I can hold a wheelie for a whole like 15 feet. Yeah. It's pretty impressive. I. Not really. Yeah. I, yeah. But I, I can't wheelie. I can go no hands, which I'd say is uh, pretty impressive. Man, I was even I was even too scared to go no hands because I I just swore that as soon as I went no hands, the front wheel would just flip out <laughs> and I'd crash. I mean, now I know that like if you go fast enough, the front wheel's gonna keep itself going forward. But I mean, try telling like child me that you know yeah it's not gonna happen yeah every every kid who owns a bmx bike should be forced to take a college level physics class so they understand <laughs> what you can get Not away with based. what you can get away with and what you can't get away with um that seems fair yeah, yeah. you know my brother has a bmx bike maybe <laughs> maybe he should get in on this uh video you know weren't you gonna say that if i ever did this game you would try to do like these tricks like for a bonus video or am I completely mishearing you? And you actually said, Connor, get out of my face, I'm trying to sleep. No, you, you, were on no, a you were on a lot of mushrooms when you said that. I, I can't remember this at all, but you know, Mitch does have a point, I probably was doing some shrooms. Mm. I'm working on my problem, leave me alone. <laughs> um, so along with all of that stuff, you know, you've, you've got kind of... Um, tweaks, I guess. You can do a trick and then do a no-handed yeah, version this of that is, tweak. This is pretty neat, because you can just do everything really smoothly and and just, you know, do all the flatland tricks like you were saying. This light's annoying. <laughs> yeah, I guess, yeah, everything really works. Like, you can manual into and out of everything, and you can tweak everything. You can do a grind and yeah, then like no-hander. Like all that, where, you're, where you hit the lip of the ramp and then you just kind of continue manually. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna say, like, almost every time your guy falls over, he just bleeds out all over the place. Like, you thought the blood in Evolution Skateboarding was bad. I mean, at least it doesn't coat the screen in this game, but, 
Yeah, you, you're gonna be wondering why you can't see the deep, deep cuts on your guy's arms. You know, from uh, all the blood. But, like I was saying, so yeah, you can kind of do tweaks on stuff, but there's only like, you know, there's not as many as like Dave Mirror 2, where you could do pretty much any tweak on any move. You know, um, back in that game, there were literally like thousands of stuff including ones I found where there were such animations as your guy's leg bending up at an improbable angle to scratch his ear like a dog. You know, Alan, did you ever see that? I don't think I ever did. Well, yeah, there's there was some stuff in that game you could do anything, even if the animations didn't make sense at all. And in this game, you can do no-hander, one-hander, no-footer, one-footer, half-and-half, uh, and that's it. I mean, <laughs> I say that... Compared compared to its rival game, yeah, that's it. Yeah, um, you gotta get the fire alarms so that the uh, fire department doesn't show up when you commit arson. Yeah, I gotta say, you know, so the fire alarm rings every time we pull it, and there's five fire alarms. You'd think after five fire alarms, people would be like, maybe we should evacuate the building. I'm well, gonna say. I don't know, that forklift seems pretty important. Yeah, this guy, this guy's job is to drop a ramp for us. It's like he's been waiting for that, you know? He's been waiting for this fires and uh, he's been waiting for this moment for all his life. Oh <laughs> Lord. Oh Lord. Um, so yeah, if uh, if I was going to compare this game to Dave Mira 2, um, uh, Dave Mira 2 came out a year earlier. Um, so it kind of had the head start, but they were sort of competing. And again, I thought that like Matt Hoffman 2 was the lesser known game, but I've been getting, you know, I've, I've gotten some requests to do it. Like, hey man, can you do Matt Hoffman too? So I, um, I guess maybe I was backwards on that. I don't know. It's not like I can pull up a, well, I don't know. Maybe I could find a sales chart. If someone could uh, find that for me, that'd be cool. Yeah, off topic. So, you know, the goods and bads of each game, Dave Mira 2, at least one time each level was a challenge that just sucked, you know, and there were several levels where um, there were some very, very, very annoying things. Uh, Matt Hoffman 2, I don't really have that problem. I've played most of the game. I haven't played all of it at the time of this audio recording, but you know, most of the um, objectives are just to find stuff, so, you know, I can always go look up. I can always go look up a guide. You know, the challenge is finding things rather than figuring out how the hell you're supposed to work the game mechanics so you can do something. But Dave Mira 2 does have a um, more customizable tricking system, but Matt Hoffman 2's is a lot more fluid, and you can you basically can flow as long as you can hold your balance. I mean, it's really well done, and I'd say Matt Hoffman 2, better game. So, um, that's been the first level. I've mastered the level. I have mastered this level, by the way. Just like all of my playthroughs, I ain't gonna skip out on a single challenge. I'm gonna do all 12 challenges, all 8 levels. So, you know, secrets uh, and gaps, mm, probably not gonna do that. Unless I get something really cool for the gaps, but I don't know. So, would a gap be like just a huge jump between two areas? Yeah, sometimes it's that, sometimes it's a grind. You'll see when I get one, because it'll be like, yeah. it'll show up in pink. Because that could be pretty, pretty fun. Mm, I don't know. Unless it, unless it's just so, so dumb. Ser searching the area for all of those is usually uh, uh, that that usually feels kind of like busy work to me. But uh, up next, we're going to the very, very gray city of Chicago. Apparently, like it's super gray. You're gonna see that. We're gonna have to ask Beardo if it's really as gray as it looks. So, Alan, you know, did any of that seem familiar at all? Uh, yeah, it it did, actually. Do you have anything um, to say from a seasoned professional? You know, tips and tricks for the kiddies? Wear a helmet? <laughs> yeah. yeah, wear a helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Unlike the characters in don't, this. Don't <laughs> ride, a, uh, ride on flat tires. And, um, yeah, your bike should probably be about five sizes too small for you for the best performance. Yeah, yeah. All right, Matt Hoffman 2, first level, Oklahoma City. See you next time.